Hey guys, Pete over here, Craigslist Hunter. Just opened up my shop Saturday morning. Had a chance to uh, go out and garage sailing a little bit for about an hour, hour and a half. Got a few things in my trucks. Let me show you what I guys uh, picked up. Looks like, looks like it might rain a little bit on us, but... Uh, So I got a full truck of goodies and uh, actually more stuff in here in the back. Let me uh, let me unload everything and uh, then I can uh, show off what I picked up. Alright guys, so it's about 10 a.m. I just opened up the shop. I got everything out of my, tr my truck so I can show you. I hit the garage sales for about an hour, hour and a half maybe. Yeah, I started about 8.30 and I just got here. Hit maybe about five, six garage sales and uh, let me show you what I got. Uh, this was the first stop. Uh, kids drum set, complete with the seat. Uh, everything is in very good condition, not very used and abused. Lots of extra sticks, sticks to come with it. You know, these sets, um, they're, when they're new, they sell like anywhere between 2 to 250 when you gotta pick them up new, sometimes even 300 bucks. Uh, they wanted 50 bucks on it, I picked it up for $30 from them. Super easy flip for me here in a shop. This I can probably easy put out for about 175 bucks and I'll get $150 on it. So, you know, quick, uh, quick 120 bucks right there. Uh, old stove. Uh, this was a garage next door to that one <coughs> that I picked up the drums. And a uh, guy had 10 bucks on it and uh, I, you know, I offered him $2 and he said, yeah, go ahead and take it. It's a vintage looking, you know, propane stove. Uh, people like these for decorations. For two bucks, I can't go wrong. I can easily flip this for $15, $20. Um, next one I hit, actually, this, all this right here came from the same garage sale. Uh, these bullhorns, I always sell these good. Um, they wanted 10 bucks for it and got it for five. And then the lady had a bunch of books out there, so I spent about 15-20 minutes going through some of the books and I picked up like 20 books, 10 cents a piece. Um, I mean, look at this one right here. Original price, 54 bucks, uh, American Past, and I scanned this book really quickly through uh, Profit Bandit and it brings uh, like 18 bucks on FBA. Uh, there's some textbooks right here. The college physics uh, scan this one brings about 25 bucks and then uh, Rest of the books pretty much anywhere between like four to seven dollars on average profit So about 20 books right here. I got a quick hundred dollars here invested two dollars in this Couldn't pass on on this sucker John Wayne collection uh, sealed brand new VHS tapes uh, don't sell for a whole lot, but on FBA I should make, you know, $10 or so. So that was an easy pickup. Then this part right here, the Technics, uh, CD changer and, mo excuse me, motorcycle chaps and a leather jacket came from one garage sale. He wanted eight bucks on this uh, changer. This is for uh, 110 CDs. Uh, they're not super hot, but not many people are selling them. Um, you know, one at eight dollars. I got it for five bucks. Comes with the manual, remote control. I can get easy uh, fifty bucks on eBay out of it, no problem. Uh, maybe even a little bit more. Uh, the chaps, uh, very good condition, uh, hundred percent leather. Um, I wanted twenty dollars for it, and then a very nice uh, biker's leather jacket. Uh, with one patch on the side here, uh, and it's a uh, it's a uh, double X, so it's a big jacket. Uh, decent company, Letter King. He wanted thirty dollars. I got both of these for thirty, so like ten bucks on a chaps and twenty bucks on a jacket. I can sell this jacket in my shop all day long for about eighty to a hundred bucks, and chaps probably about thirty forty dollars. So that was a good uh, good pickup right there. Now, 
these two things, the Merlin and Monroe picture, which is a good size. I mean, it's a huge picture. A uh, lady wanted uh, 25 bucks and she had these brand new uh, glasses, uh, never opened, uh, set of four in each one. She wanted 12 bucks for both of them. They come from um, Crate and Barrel. Um, and I scanned this through Profit Bandit and FBA. Um, I should make $40 on each. Crate and Barrel sells these for uh, $56 a piece. And I picked them up both for 10 bucks from her. Uh, the Manlin Monroe picture, she wanted 25. She was kind of stuck on it. I paid 20 bucks for Manlin Monroe. Uh, it still has an original tag on a bag of uh, 60 bucks. Um, I can easily flip this in my shop for about $40. So I decided to take it. I always sell uh, pictures really, really good. So that's going to be, you know, quick 20 bucks and uh, quick $40 on each of these. So it's a $100 profit right there at that garage sale. And the next garage sale, I picked up these two things. Um, a lawnmower, um, the guy wanted 60 bucks for it, I got it for 25 of him, starts right up and what's nice about it, it's a simple push uh, lawnmower, but it's a Honda engine, HCV 160, so decent size, starts right up, people love Honda lawnmowers, I sell them like hotcakes, this is a quick flip for $100 here in my shop, or you can put it locally on OfferUp or Craigslist and you know, will sell like this so that's a quick 75 bucks right there and uh, they also had this trunk in a very nice condition I sell a lot of these uh, cheapy trunks you know they're not very expensive even when they're new they wanted 10 bucks for it um, I got it for five dollars from them and I can easily flip this for like 25 dollars in a shop here uh, so uh, that's all I got but you know hey, pretty uh, pretty good for you know roughly one hour of work and um, yeah, guys, local game is big. You know, some of the stuff is gonna go to either eBay, Amazon. Most of it, I'll sell it here in the shop. Um, probably $500 profit here, easy. Uh, spent all together roughly about, I can't remember now, about $120 or something like that. So uh, here you go, and uh, till next time, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Peace out.